In the story of Megillat Esther, again and again, it says the word Hamelech. Our rabbis say Hamelech, even though it looks like it's referring to Ahasuerosh, always refers to Hashem. So the Maharal asks a great question. We're going to imply Hashem in this evil king Ahasuerosh? If you want to hint to Hashem, hint to him in some other part in, the Haga, in, the, in this Megillah. Why are you hinting to him in Ahasuerosh? Says the Maharal, here's why. Because the ha- Megillah, I keep saying Haggadah, I'm ahead of myself. The Megillah is here to send us this message again and again. The good people, the bad people. The big people, the small people. All the people. All of them are Hamelech. They're all Hashem. So when you start categorizing people, you're not showing real belief in Him. You think He's in point and He's not? That means you think you're giving stock to that person as if He created his success and He created his failure. False! Hashem created the whole thing. The whole thing is Hamelech. He, every one of these people, from Hatach to Bigtan to Teresh to Charvona to Haman to Mordechai to Esther to Shushan to Vashti, they're all Hashverosh, all of them are Hamelech. So Hashem says, I'm going to hint it to you in the worst person, the person that you think is causing the whole mess. He's Hashem too. So the next time you walk around the world, don't ever see a person. That person's important. Call him back. That person not so important. I could wait two days. Or maybe I'll even forget to respond to the text. Don't you ever do that. Because every single person is equal. Pawns in Hashem's game. And when it comes to showing appreciation, there's so many little people that you always have to have the courage and the confidence to be able to say thank you too. Thank you.